Hey traders, what if I tell you there is only one way to become a professional trader? Today, I want to go deep into the clear distinctions that set professional traders apart from retail traders. I'll be sharing some common traits I have identified in professional traders. It's worth noting that even after implementing all these steps, I initially didn't observe significant improvement in my own trading until I started applying number three. Stay with me until the end as point number three was the game changer for me and I believe it can have the same impact in your trading journey. Step number one, journaling your trades. The very first thing every professional trader does is meticulously log their trades. It's crucial to realize that you cannot enhance what you don't measure. Without proper trade journal, you won't be able to pinpoint your strengths and your weaknesses. Your journal should be detailed and in my case, it includes trade screenshots, what is the behavior of the dollar at the time of the trade, internals, footprint charts, and other customized parameters tailored to my trading style. These parameters help me distinguish between good and bad trades. Step number two, effective risk management. Drawing from Mike Douglas's book, Trading in the Sun, there are three main pillars for a successful trading strategy. Having an edge in the market, implementing sound risk management, and managing your own psychology. Now, let's focus on risk management, which is fundamental for preserving your capital. Remember Warren Buffett's number one rule, don't lose money. In the context of trading, this translates to don't lose too much money. As trader, especially when starting out, it's tough to accept that losses are part of the game. The key is to define what too much money means. There are some general rules to safeguard your capital, prim primarily related to risk of ruin. Every trader should risk only a small percentage of your account, typically between 1% to 2%, regardless of your account size or your trade direction. This practice will help you avoid catastrophic losses that could wipe out your account. During extended losing streaks, I implemented drastic measures reducing my trading size to the point where I might revert to simulated trading if necessary. This approach has drawn criticism from some in YouTube community, but it not only preserves my brokerage account, but also safeguards my mental well-being, which is far more challenging to replenish. So stick to risking between 1-2% to per trade and aim for consistent income growth. If you want a good book to work on your psychology and your training regarding your losses, there is this book by Tom Howard, Best Loser Wins. I think it's great. And finally, what I think is the best of all, step number three, setting meaningful goals. Perhaps the most critical aspect of successful trading is having clear goals. These goals are not focused on financial targets, like making a specific amount of money within a set of time frame. So just, I'm gonna earn 100K in a year or 100K in six months. In fact, this such a goal can be very counterproductive. What I'm advocating for are process-oriented goals. These are realistic, highly detailed, objective aim improving the aspects of your trading. This come hand in hand with logging your trades because are those metrics the ones that will help you improve those little steps that make you better day by day. These goals could be something like, I am working on my consistency this month, or I will be working on my risk and reward ratios. Or a good example for me is, I won't take any trade if the internals are not aligned in this, in the direction of the trade. This implies more strict rules and missed trades due to the fact that you are filtering all the bad trades. And the market is so random that there are going to be times where statistics are in your favor and times where statistics are against you. But in the end, you can understand what works and what doesn't work, and you can focus on what really works for you. Having this kind of achievable goal significantly boosted my confidence, a crucial emotion in trading. The key is to focus in refining your trading process step by step to understand that trading is not about money in its early stages. And I can recommend you a very good book about this. Um, it's not about trading, but definitely I, I think every trader should read it. It's um, Growth Mindset by Carol Dweck. And I also will leave you a link 
down in the description of a podcast from Andrew Huberman about this topic, if you don't feel like reading the book. In conclusion, the path to becoming a professional trader is marked by disciplined journaling, effective risk management, and setting meaningful process-oriented goals. By implementing these strategies, you can elevate your trading game and ultimately achieve your desired success. If you find value in this video, please like it and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Happy trading.